Hey YouTube, Chris here. Wanted to give you my honest thoughts on the Dell XPS 13 Plus. Had it for a couple weeks now and it's been a little difficult to find honest reviews about it. So I thought it might be helpful to anybody considering this machine out there uh, to learn a little bit about how I compare it uh, as it relates to some of the other devices that I have. So here's the Dell XPS 13 Plus. This is the, I guess, white version. I uh, love the size and portability, uh, but that's about all, all that I can really say positive about it. Uh, we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, so the other devices that I, that I have is the uh, Surface Laptop 4. Uh, this is the Intel i7 version with 16 gigs of memory. Uh, this is the MacBook Pro 14. Uh, M1 Max with 64 gigabytes of memory, so not necessarily a, a fair comparison in terms of power. This is the uh, base model, MacBook Air, and then I have the iPad uh, Pro uh, 12 inch. So, you know, what I use my devices for is more or less, uh, you know, communication, emails, back and forth. Uh, photo editing. Uh, I actually am a full-time real estate agent, but I'm also a photographer and videographer. I, I never really guessed that the Dell XPS 13 Plus was going to be real useful for video, but what I was hoping for is it would be uh, light enough and uh, easy to use for all of my communication work. The, <laughs> what, what's turned out to, to be the case is I don't even like to use it at, at all. Uh, so. Although it is a beautiful machine, the battery life is absolutely atrocious. So this is the one with the OLED screen and the Intel i7 with 16 gigs of memory. And I bet if I were to actually able you know, use this thing for real work, I might be able to get about four hours with it. And that four hours is going to be noisy and hot. So it, the, the fans kind of start up right away and you know, the, the, heat, the heat really just gets out of control. I actually don't even like the way that the screen looks. I mean, yes, the OLED is, is beautiful and it looks really nice, but uh, compared to the aspect ratio of the Surface Laptop 4, just in terms of getting work done, it, the Surface Laptop 4 is so much better. And I'll be honest, I, I would prefer to have a machine uh, that ran Windows uh, natively, which is why I have the Surface Laptop 4. Uh, but the, this uh, Dell XPS 13 Plus, uh, I mean, I, there's no way that I would ever even consider keeping it. Compare that to even the MacBook Air. Uh, this is the original M1. I do have the M2 on order and it's like not even a comparison. I, I can use the MacBook Air for uh, the whole day, 10 plus hours. Never do I even have to worry about the battery life where the XPS, you can basically just watch the battery life indicator go down. Uh, the keyboard is okay, you know, it's not near as good as the MacBook Air, the Surface Laptop, or the MacBook Pro. Uh, they try to do something a little bit different with the chiclet design. And again, this, this isn't like a super informative review. I'm just trying to give you my opinions to hopefully save you, save you a little bit of money. Uh, the trackpad is like built into the, to the, uh, I guess, wrist pad and it, it works pretty good. I mean, there's a little bit of getting used to, but it doesn't even come close to comparing to the Macs. And I'm not an Apple fanboy, guys. I'm just being honest with you. You know, these are kind of like in a league of their own. And I was really, really hoping that uh, Dell and Windows would be able to figure out the battery life situation and, and even performance. I didn't find to be that fantastic on the, the Dell XPS either. Compared to the Surface Laptop 4, uh, which is running the Intel 11th generation uh, i7, I didn't notice a difference of anything. I, I felt like the Surface Laptop 4 might even be a little bit smoother. Uh, so, you know, other than just the, the form factor and the coolness of the Dell XPS 13 Plus, I would have a really, really hard time recommending it to anybody unless I guess you wanted something cool, neat that nobody else has and you're going to keep it plugged in all the time and don't really need it to you know, do anything that's going to require a whole lot of power. So uh, you know, this isn't necessarily an endorsement for my MacBooks, uh, but I can tell you if you're a busy professional and don't want to have to worry about battery life at all and just need something that, that's going to work. 
it's really, you know, right now at least, I don't have anything that compares to the, the MacBooks. So Dell XPS 13 Plus, unfortunately, I gotta, I gotta give it a thumbs down and this thing is going back. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions.